Hey guys, today I've got July favorites for you. It's one of my favorite videos of the month. I love to watch them, I love to make them, I love to keep track of favorites. So let's jump to it. Last month I did summer essentials instead of monthly favorites, so I've got a lot of stuff to get through. Starting with skincare, my first favorite is an oil cleanser. It's something that is super different for me because I prefer not to use oil cleansers, but this one by French Girl Organics in Rose Noir is incredible. And sometimes I don't even use it as an oil cleanser. Sometimes I do, but some nights I just use it, like a tiny drop of it, to moisturize my face. It's rose infused argan oil, evening primrose, rose hip, olive, borage seed, and castor and sesame seed oils, and then also pomegranate seed oils and essential oils. So it's like so many oils in this little bottle and I love it. It smells a little citrusy and it just, when you put it on at night, it feels like an absolute treat. Next I have two hydrosols toner type products. The first one is from CV Skin Labs, the Rescue and Relief Spray. Uh, you can only buy the small package of this in a sample bundle with a bunch of other things and this and the skin balm I liked but the other two things I really didn't care for at all and it was quite expensive but if you guys are have really really sensitive really painful skin I would check out the brand I just thought that everything was going to be unscented and the moisturizer is definitely not unscented it's not doesn't have added fragrance but it definitely has a funky smell to it but this rescue and relief spray is so nice especially for bug bites or like weird rashes that you get in the summer it's really refreshing very cucumbery and I have been really liking it it's more of a like treatment spray than so much of a toner whereas this other one that I have that I got when I did the Summer Essentials with Andy the Green Queen. She totally convinced me to try this. It is the Caro Skincare Company Facial Toner and Cucumber and Lime for all skin types. The ingredients are so great. Cucumber hydrosol, lime hydrosol, and a hydrosol blend. And it's so refreshing. And can we just talk about the packaging? I actually bought this on a 40% off sale when they were changing their packaging, so I don't know what it looks like now, but I will say the one that I got, I got it on like J July 10th or something, and it says best if used by August 1st. So I, I mean, clearly I bought it because they were clearing them out, so I feel like that's kind of understandable, but it was a little annoying to see that. I will say I've had it for a couple weeks and I've been using it a lot. It's down to here. It feels so nice in the summer, especially when I get out of the sauna and I shower. The point of far infrared sauna is to increase your body temperature. So your body temperature stays quite elevated for like an hour or so afterwards and you're just like dripping even after you shower and stuff. And so it feels really, really nice. But I will say it's more cucumbery than a limey. I can not really detect much of a lime scent. It's like all cucumber, which is fine. I just would prefer more lime. I've got one hair favorite for the month, and I mentioned it in my last video. If you guys didn't see it, it is my go-to summer look. And it features some pretty 14 karat gold eyelids and my wavy hair. So it is the Yurok Feed Your Hold Hairspray, and it is my favorite natural hairspray ever. I thought it would be too strong for me because it does have a couple essential oils in it and when I get scents in my hair, they really bother me all day. But actually, once you spray it, it doesn't stick in your hair at all. Your hair is totally unscented. It's amazing. It has a light hold, but it's so great, especially because the unscented hairsprays I've been using are full of alcohol, so this is so much nicer. All right, a couple of makeup favorites. And this is from my June makeup tutorial, the rosy look. This is the Mally Evercolor Shadow Stick in the shade Rosy Taupe. And it is so gorgeous. It is what I assume is a dupe for the Biotary Ombre Black Stars, which I've never tried, but so much cheaper. 
And one of you guys who has Misty Rock commented on that video and told me that this looks quite a bit like Misty Rock, which is what I was going for. So it rates well on EWG, it stays on all day long, it's actually on my lid right now, I don't know if you can see that, but otherwise I will link that makeup tutorial down below and you guys can see this in action. Next for eyes, the Fiore Minerals Eyeliner in... Again, I used this in my last video, and it doesn't have a shade on the actual tube, but it was in my June Petit Vore box, and it's a brownish shade. It is a little hard, so you do need to warm it up on the back of your hand before you apply it, but it's really nice smudged in the lash line on days when you don't want to wear a lot of makeup. Next, I've got a lip favorite because what would be a Laura's monthly favorites video without a lip favorite? What, what would it be? I don't even know. This is by Silk Naturals. It is their Velvet Matte Lipstick in the shade Camisole, and it is basically the pinky nude shade I've been looking for for my entire life. <laughs> I think that I've told you guys, I think that I even asked you guys if you had any great pinky nude suggestions that weren't too cool, um, because I look really bad in light, cool, pink lipsticks. This is matte, it stays on, it doesn't bleed. I'm actually wearing it right now, but I do have a little bit of gloss in the center. It is an amazing shade, and I do have one other one of these that I've shown you guys in the shade Canoodle, which is a really great My Lips But Better type of color. It's very similar to the Tarte Lip Crayon and Exposed, and this one is just my new favorite. It's the perfect nude lip for me. And at the price, you guys, for Silk Naturals stuff, you can totally afford to try it. One last Silk Naturals product. I just got it today, and I'm already, like, raving about it, so I thought I'd put it in. I actually just ordered a couple of samples from Silk Naturals in the HD Cream Foundation in darker colors, and I thought, what the heck? Um, if you guys follow Aesthetica, I'll link her down below as well, but she used this in a video, and I was like, mm, damn, that is a pretty, pretty highlight. It is a gold tinged highlight all I did was literally swipe it across my finger and dot it on my cheekbones you know you can always use a little more right down the bridge of my nose and on my cupid's bow and that's it look one swipe this is gonna last forever this is like $4.99 so if you guys are craving like the living luminizer or one of the Becca highlighters and you don't want to pay $38 for it, which I wouldn't do that. So I think that this is a really awesome, affordable, natural highlighter. And I think that you guys should try it. On to my lifestyle favorites. I don't really have that many in this month. Grapefruit essential oils. I always use Young Living essential oils because I trust them to be safe for ingesting. And I have been really liking this. I actually got it to use in my diffuser, but I read that it's really great for helping suppress appetite, and I'm one of those people who could literally eat all day long. So I've been putting it in my water, I've been putting it in that strawberry grapefruit tea that I get from Tivana that I love so much, and it is so tasty. So two things on that. One, if you're going to ingest essential oils, please make sure that you're getting them from a high quality company and they're safe to be ingested. Number two is don't put them in plastic. I read that you shouldn't put them in plastic and I clearly didn't care that much. Um, but what it will do is it will destroy your bottle. So I was taking it to work. You can see how gross this looks. I hope it's picking it up on camera and it will not come off in the dishwasher and it's not that it it's like stained or anything, it's that essential oils actually eat the particles of the plastic. And so this is like half eaten by essential oils and then you actually drink those particles down, which is really disgusting. So if you do put essential oils in your drinks, make sure you're using a glass container. And lastly, I've got a book. When I started doing monthly favorites, I meant to do books every month and then I got busy with my thesis and I, I've been reading, I read all the time, but I've just been forgetting to mention books in the past couple of monthly favorites. So in June and July, I have read and listened to probably 10 books. The one that has really stuck out to me the most is My Life Next Door. I listen to it on audiobook, but reading it would probably be even better. It is such a good YA novel with twists and turns and great romances and I think that you would love it.
Also, any of the YA books that I read, I usually get recommendations from two places. One is the Perpetual Page Turner website. Uh, it's this girl named Jamie, and she has a book blog, and it's fabulous. And then also from Goodreads. I'm really, really bad at updating my Goodreads page, but when I do, then I see you know the related titles up on the side and I try to see if I'd like those too. So you guys, that was all of my July favorites. I hope that you liked them. Let me know what you guys have been crushing on this month as well. I always love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching, for commenting and subscribing and I will see you guys next time.